hello guys and welcome back to my channel if you're new to my channel hello and welcome to my channel my name is summer so in this video i want to talk about this new story of uh, a nigerian man that ended his wife's life and uh, the story has been going around about how he picked her up and how he she became somebody and began to feel too big and all of that meanwhile let me read to you guys what the american news uh, said about it before i talk about you know before we talk about what the nigerian news that is circulating um on social media says okay it's a very short one so this is from fox okay it says man shoots and kills wife in orlando deputies say orlando florida a man shot and killed his wife saturday evening on an orlando suburb according to the orange county uh, sheriff's office deputies said they responded to the 66,000 block of taxiway a circle around 7 p.m. in response to a shooting when they arrived they found a woman in her 40s who had been shot according to the sheriffs the woman Nanshin Hassan Adeyemo was taken to the hospital where she later passed away from her injuries deputies said the suspect Hassan Teddy Adeyemo remained at the home and was charged with first degree murder according to deputies investigators say this shooting is domestic in nature as the suspect and victim were married the sheriff's office says there there are no additional details available for release at this time okay that is all okay that's news that's all the american news have not produced any other information and this couple were living in America. And unfortunately, I think I've noticed that in recent years, where, okay, we've heard stories of a Nigerian nurse and a husband, the woman is making more money, and then the husband ended her life because she's making money, she's not feeling too big, blah, blah, blah. People, a lot of Nigerians, especially the men, have fallen in love, if you can use that word, fallen in love with her, spreading that narrative, falling in love with her, holding on to a story like that, because it, it supports the agenda that a lot of them are trying to, you know, push. And the thing is this, there are some people that are actually helping to spread this without knowing that there is an agenda out there to create Nigerian women that are abroad, that are successful, uh, 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 no, to, 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 to give them a particular kind of a name or create that narrative that once women, you bring them abroad, they da, 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 da. I'm saying this because even some well-meaning people are joining and sharing this news, not realizing that they are helping push an agenda. If the news, okay, where did it get, let me read to you guys what the Nigerian news social media people are, sh are sharing. And then considering that this guy has been locked up, the question is where are they getting this information from? The guy is locked up. So where did he get it? Okay, let me read to you guys. It's a bit of a read, but I, I don't want to say what they said. I want to quote, I want to say, I want to read it word for word, right? So this is what uh, is going around on Facebook. He says, why I killed my wife. Some people say, why I killed the B-I-T-C-H. Okay? When did he say this? I have searched the internet up and down. I have not seen where this man said this, apart from social media people posting it. No reputable news outlets have, have posted this. There was no, there's no place that they said this guy has been granted the interview and he, he said all of this. Okay, so this is uh, why I killed my wife, Adeyemo. The sad story behind the Hassan Adeyemo's Florida uh, tragedy. In 1998, a 21-year-old Nigerian soldier named Hassan Adeyemo uh, from Ibado met and fell in love with an 18-year-old uh, beautiful Hausa girl from Bauchi called Sarah. It was love at first sight. They got married in 1999 and God blessed them with a beautiful daughter in, 20, in, in 2000. After her, they had two other daughters and one boy, making four kids. Hassan loved his wife so much and told her not to work because not work because of stress he was providing everything she ever wanted for her and the kids in 2014 hassan wanted a better life for his family with his wife's agreement he decided to send them to the u.s sarah and the kids is her name sarah now i've been the news said nanshin so i don't know where they're getting the name sarah from sarah and the kids entered the united states in uh, 2014 before they got there hassan already arranged a rented house and a car for them sarah wasn't working hassan was sending big money to them for upkeep from nigeria every month despite the existence hassan bonded with his wife and kids everyone was happy in 2017 hassan who had missed his family so much decided to relocate to america and stay with them uh, before her son got to America, Sarah had started have started her braiding just to keep herself busy when the kids were in school. Everyone loved her and the way she braided beautiful stars. 
gradually she became a household name in Orlando, Flo uh, Orlando, Florida. Ladies flooded her to do their help. The unfortunate victims of the tragedy, what she was doing for fun became something big overnight. Hassan entered the US and things were going smoothly. Hassan, who was a big man in Nigeria, left everything and came to America to start all over with familiar jobs. He had no papers yet, so he was doing jobs that paid him peanuts. Um, God blessed him with a baby boy in 2018, making their children in total five. Sarah was making at least 1,000 a day with the help of her daughters who she had trained. She was very fast and efficient in breeding. With this income, she was able to support the family with all expenses because her son's income couldn't meet up with the expense, expenses slash bills. Her son got his papers and started Uber and delivery jobs. He worked from day to night and started contributing his quota to the family, but his contributions was like change to his wife. Sarah was making. In effect, Sarah became the breadwinner of the house. Issues started because Sarah was always complaining that her son couldn't afford her lifestyle. How does that, does that make sense? If she's making so much money, why would she even need a man to afford her lifestyle? Okay, let me just read it, right? Okay, uh, afford her lifestyle. She became the children's favorite because she gave them everything they asked for. While their dad could not meet up, Sarah entered the house whenever she want, She wished. She became the boss, always calling her son lazy and useless, while her son always appealed to her for peace to reign. Her son, a gentleman, didn't like trouble in any form. Sarah and the children formed their own group in the house and abandoned their father, uh, to always sort himself out. Sarah stopped cooking for him. Her son became depressed and was always begging friends and family, uh, family members to help him talk to his wife. Her son was always crying like a baby, saying Sarah made him feel less of a man in the house. His friends encouraged him to persevere and ignore whatever she did. In January 2022, Sarah announced to her, uh, to her son that she had bought a house. They moved into the new house and she continued to treat him bad, uh, very badly. She disrespected him so much leave my house if you cannot obey me hmm. uh, obey, like how does that how many like obey how many women in Nigeria would say a man obey me okay let me just read it okay you irresponsible man she would uh, often say she locked him out in the cold so many times and threw his things out Ch the children were on their mother's side because she was the provider Hassan became very depressed and started having uh, suicidal thoughts uh, he, he told his friends how his life is unfair and that he would kill himself they advised him to leave the marriage because it was obvious that his wife was no longer in love with him but he kept on asking okay, where will I start from I love my wife a woman I have invested all my life in the only woman I ever loved um, what did I do to deserve this from her? April 2023, Sarah told him that she had bought another house, that this particular house is specifically for her and her customers. She told her son to hold on to the boys while the girls followed her to the new house. Her son was like, why do you want to separate the family? She said, if everyone followed her to the new house, it would disturb my customers. She then told the husband that he could bring the boys over for weekends, but he can't come with them because I need my privacy. People tried to talk to Sarah, but she wouldn't listen. Her son agreed, hoping that his wife would change her mind. On August 21st, 2023, uh, Sarah informed her son that she would like for her sons to move in with her while her son remained in the old house. She instructed her son to move all of her remaining properties property and that of the children from the old house where her son was staying in the new one where she lived. She then told her son that whenever he wished to see the children, he should let her know so she can arrange for the visits. So her son told her he would do as she had instructed and take the remaining property of hers to the house on Friday night, which he did. Sarah didn't let him enter the house. She took all the belongings he brought and the boys and left her son outside. Her son remained at the door for almost an hour, knocking. Sarah refused to open the door for him. The following day, August 26th, was her son's 46th birthday. Early that morning, Sarah sent him a message. Happy birthday, friend. We are better off as friends than lovers. Uh, you need to look for where you'll be staying because I have to get rid of the old house. I wish you well in life. I have moved on. A few hours later, the children called their dad to get some groceries and he told them he would bring them in the evening. At about 6.30 p.m., he called the kids 
that he was on his way to the house with the groceries. When he got there, he knocked and the children opened the door for him. Her son then asked for their mom. They told him he was in the shower. He entered and went into the bathroom, brought out a gun and shot her in the head, in the chest and in the leg. He then called 911. Hello, I just killed the BICCH. This is the address. I am waiting for you. He sat down on the floor beside Sarah's body. The cops came and the first respondents rushed Sarah to the hospital. She was, she was still breathing. She died two hours after, after she she got to the hospital. Mr. Adeyemo is now at the Orange County Jail in Florida. He is most likely facing death sentence or life in prison without parole. You know, I don't even know what to say about the story because I don't know if it's a cooked up version of the story or is that the authentic story of what happened because unfortunately our people, it has happened a lot that a lot of news about man or woman, people always, our people cook up whatever story. I remember when the Ataga one happened, the one that the side chick ended his life and uh, the next day people were blaming his wife and started bringing up a story about how Ataga, it was the wife that pushed him out, she refused to move because she's a strong, uh, 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 successful woman she was feeling too big they left the girl that ended somebody's life and started blaming a wife that the husband was cheating on they, they, they twist the narrative if this version of the story is true if it is so people that feel like it is justified to end somebody's life or well, it's not justified what about walking away i'm never going to support any kind of uh, disrespect or abuse of your partner or your spouse or whatever but the thing is this if nigerian women were to be deleting men that left them for another woman or you know men that disrespected them or for whatever grievances if they were to it were ending their lives when they are no longer happy the way the man treats them there will be barely any man left in nigeria let me put it like that i don't want to make it too long you guys can leave your opinion because i don't know the full story i would like to leave an authentic uh, 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 what's it called now when we know the full story but i've always said it walking away is the best because if it is true you know what i'm saying now if it is true if it is true he ended her life and his life is over basically because it's going to be it depends i don't know by that state where it happened if it is death sentence or if it is a life imprisonment or whatever what is the gain then what is the gain then is a man in that situation not better off go find whatever way you can start afresh whatever because let me tell you if a woman or a man doesn't love you anymore what it what like i've only said it to me love that i the love that i love the love that i'm loving a man it's because of the love that he's loving me. If the person I'm loving is no longer loving me, my love will just die. So my love is triggered by the love that I'm receiving. You understand? So that's why sometimes when I see all these stories and I see people that think, oh, the serves are right, what has he gained? What has he really gained? Nothing. The children have lost their, if, lost their father and loved their, lost, lost their father and lost their mother. And, uh, what, what, like, anyways, I don't even want to say too much. Basically, that's the story, the way Nigerian social media is sharing it and the way the American news shared it. I don't know what you guys' opinions are. Um, uh, what's it called now? And you see even the way they shared it on Facebook, you can see that they didn't even say, they didn't give credit or say who did that write-up. Anybody can sit in their house and write up a story and people think it's true. I don't know. Anyways, I don't even want to go too much until we get proper information. But I don't know what your opinions are about stories like this. And uh, as always, whatever your opinions are, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below. And uh, with that, I'm going to say thank you for watching. Until the next time, guys. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.